Hello again. Carmen Ryder here, back with another commentary. Now I know what you're gonna say. Carmen Ryder, you already did a video about just a robot in the last commentary. To which, you're right. However, this one was not only suggested by a viewer, but suggested by Jar himself. Now don't worry, I'm not like taking orders from him or anything. He was just requesting I do this one. And even then, he put it on his Twitter, so I probably would have done it myself anyways. So who is it this time? Well, we have a special one today. That would be... T-Moss Boss. <laughs> yes, T-Moss Boss. The cancer that had done nothing but harm the CC when all we wanted him to do was improve his content. Now, if you don't know who T Moss Boss is, then go watch Jar's playlist on him, or you can go watch I Bully Bully's video on him. But today, we have T Moss Boss doing a reaction. Now, again, I'm not going to be doing the thing where I play the video, talk, and play it again, mainly because, like most reaction channels, T Moss Boss just sits and watches the video. I'll only show the points he makes and counter them one by one. Now, in the case that this video is somehow less than 10 minutes long, Keep in mind that his video is 38 minutes long, so everything I'm cutting out is just him blankly staring and sitting and watching Luke's video. Now we already went over Luke's video, so I'm not going to go over any of his points. I'll only be focusing on Team Moss bosses. Anyways, let's get into it. Alright, what's up guys? So, this video was brought to my attention and I seen the title and I was like, fam, what is going on? <laughs> like, this is wild, bro. Um, so, the video is titled Just a Robot is Just Racist. Um, for those that are new to my channel and don't really know too much about me, like, from 2016 all the way up until, like, the beginning of 2020, um, we're, like, almost the halfway point of 2020. Uh, I was getting into it with just a robot, his fans, his friends. His friends, yes, but not his fans. He gave you constructive criticism, and that's it. Well, YouTube friends. Like, literally anybody that, um, was, like, a fan of this guy or friends with him. So, yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty crazy and hectic. And I overall just wanted to see this video to see, like, hey, so, like, what what is uh what what's what's this all about like i'm just curious because um yeah i'm like i you know when i when i sit down and think about it i think back on the video that i made uh about like the so for those that don't know how this whole situation between me and him why we've gotten into it uh so back in well i'm obviously i do reaction videos but back in 2015 2016 when i was like uploading a crap ton of reaction videos um, throughout that time, people that did reaction videos was just getting a massive amount of hate. Not all of them. Only ones that do it wrong. Like you. There are good reaction channels, like Chetronic, H3H3, and even PewDiePie has done reaction videos. But they do it properly by editing down their videos. Unlike you, who just play the whole thing. Um, throughout that time, people that did reaction videos was just getting a massive amount of hate. You had commentary channels like left and right, like hating on re um, reaction videos. So uh, at some point in time, me and just the, um just the robots uh, paths had crossed, and I think I remember that's why like that's what really like filled the uh, fire um, between us was that. So I made a video defending reactors. He made a video responding to that. I made a video just pretty much saying this video is stupid. I'm not gonna sit down and watch a video about me. You heard that right, folks. He made a response to a video that he didn't even watch. This is a common thing with Team Moss Boss, which just shows how shit he is at YouTube. Like, constantly having him and his fans, like, going off of my comment sections, trying to, like, justify, like, you know, why they're attacking people that do re Oh, you mean constructive criticism. ...reaction videos, and I'm like, bruh, people watch it. Like, you, okay, I stopped, but it's like, all right, there's somebody's just gonna go to some other people that do reaction videos and just go. Yeah, of course. If you do something bad, then stop doing said bad thing. People are gonna naturally want to stop another person from doing said bad thing. 
length of time, it's easy just to make that argument. When all of the gotcha points and it's all- like, That's a fine one to talk about taking things out of context. I don't know how many times- I don't know how many times where it's like, I've said more than just one thing in the video, but him and his fans would just point out that one thing. And I'm like, there was more to it. I don't know why you guys can't see that, but hey, you know what? Back, back. This ain't about me. This is about Prison Mate Luke and about finding out uh, why uh, Just a Robot is just right. Well, why don't you show some examples? You're not gonna? Okay. Age was 18. Would it suddenly be magically okay? I'm just gonna say this. Um, and I, and I made like a video talking about it with the whole like James Charles situation. And I said, if I was saying she, but it could be he or she, whoever, if they aren't old enough to go into game, two things, if they can't do two things, they too young for you. If they can't go into game stops and buy a rated M video game, or if they can go in there, buy rated M video game, show ID and get it and transactions complete and they could go home and all that stuff. Okay. All right. They over the age of 18. To really put it to the test, if they could go into a bar and drink, show ID, and everything is good, then they over the age of 21. So you good, you straight. But if they can't do them two things, they too young. Well, I do sort of agree with the GameStop part. I don't really agree with the bar analogy. But even then, Jar was stating that he didn't agree with Toby drawing NSFW of My Hero Academia characters, so this argument is for nothing. And also, and this is a bit of a criticism to Jar too, it's just a drawing, not a real kid. Calm down. It's like, fam, it's, if anywhere you see, that's why it's like any place that does have the convention, you don't see like no, like the White House, the Capitol, like any like political like type place out there, you don't really see it having no Confederate flag. Like even if you, my thing is like, even if you are like a known racist, it's like, you're going to have that stuff like in your house, like hidden somewhere and things. That's why, like that's, they ain't going to have it like out and about, but it's just a lot of people in this day and age, I'm like to just let y'all know, it's like anybody that see that flag, it's racist. They ain't no, oh, it back in the day. Like, I, I know people, they try, because I know it was like with the swastika. Like, it always wasn't used as something to define, um, like, Nazis. But if you see it, like, I, I think we get a clear idea. It's like, we ain't gonna think back on, like, oh, like, this is, because I feel like when people, when they do stuff like that, and they have the Confederate flag or they have a swastika and they're like, oh, I'm using it for its original meaning. Like, it always wasn't something racist. I feel like they, they're, one, like, they are racist and they just don't- Oh, look! An actual mindset that hurts cultures. Either way, Team Moss Boss is just accepting Luke's words here as if they were fact. If you remember from my actual video on Luke, You'll remember that Jar said that he didn't like the Confederate flag either. And that stuff for um, attention, because I'm like, fam, there's so many, you can create your own symbol. Like, literally, anybody can be an artist. You can create your own symbol. You can create your own flag. When you use Confederate flags or swastikas, a lot of people are going to see it as like, this person. Well, yeah, you can create your own symbols, but it's about getting traction. My thing is, is like, if somebody, if somebody comes up to me, because there is uh, one of my friends I used to work with, he, um, he told me, because I think I, I can't remember how we got on that subject, but he told me how he's like, he's not like fully white, but he does look white. He does look white. But he said he was like, I can't remember what he said he was, but it was like, oh, okay, well, now I just, I don't refer to him as just like a white person. I'm like, I wish I, like, I had to, like, text them and ask him, like, hey, like, uh, where is your mom from again? Or, like, what was the, like, other thing that you was, uh, mixed with? Because I'm like, yeah, it's like when the person, it's like when they, I, it's just like with the whole, like, he, her, him, he, or, uh, her, she, whatever, like, those things, though, like, y'all know what I'm saying, but when it's like that stuff where it's like a person will want to be for, referred to as he or she or they, you just have to have respect. About race, not gender. Also, you don't refer to someone by their race. That's kind of weird. Not much to say that I haven't already said about Luke. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, a lot of the videos that Just Robot did was just unnecessary. It's like, fam, who cares? Like, you're doing this before your own, like, hatred towards it for however you feel towards it. It's like, nobody cares. That's why I was like, at the end of the day, the only people that was really watching this video... Yeah, that's how YouTube works. 
Even then, people can find his videos via the recommended videos section. I encountered him when looking up stuff related to the Spockter drama. Plus, even if it was just for his fans, how is that a bad thing? <laughs> wow, man. Oh, man. This guy, he beat me to the punch. Like, I feel like I had years to, like, dig this. So I should have been watching his videos. What was I doing? Man, dang. Oh, my God. Like, <laughs> it's just... It's, it's funny, because... There be people out there that will comment and say, like, why is it such a problem? Why is it that it's a thing that you just don't do? It's even if my thing is, even if you're just because there's been numerous times where people have been like, oh, my God. Like, I heard there's this like person on this racist rant and they and they'll be telling me about it. And when they like when they are telling me about it, they're like, oh, yeah, he was saying like calling her the R the R and he was saying all these other like racist derogatory names. That's how they would um, the, um like they would say, it, right? That's how they would say. It. That's how most people would say. It. That's how a person would say it if they're not racist. But I feel like a person that's like, oh, I, it's I don't see why it's offensive. I don't see why it's like, look, if black people have been saying it's offensive for all of these years. Well, yes, it is. But context matters. Jar was quoting someone. He was quoting iDubs and Hood Reacts. Okay, there shouldn't be no arguments about it. There shouldn't be no, oh, well, maybe not. No, there ain't no, oh, well, maybes. There ain't no, but what if? There ain't no none of that, okay? Nothing. It is offensive, period. Well, maybe. What if they were quoting someone, like Jar was doing? World they say it too, all right? At the end of the day, if black people are saying it, you just let them say it, okay? Just leave it to them. Leave it to all black people, okay? Across the world. Leave it to them that... Oh, joy. Admitting to biases. ...on you, but it's like, just don't say it. Like, regardless if it is in video, comments, all that. But it, it doesn't really surprise me, because I'm like, I did that. I can't remember how long that video was, but um, the video is titled, This Community is Racist, Overall Talking on Just a Robots Community. And it was like years and years and years of like these guys just going off. Like I think I can I think I did that video in 2019, 2018, 2019. I think it was 2018, maybe. I don't know. But anyways, uh, but yeah, I did this video where it showed all of these racist comments from these guys, like from when it the, like the beef really because I remember me and him, we really got into Yeah, there were racist comments, but they weren't from just a robot. In fact, Just a Robot only recognized one person. And even then, he told people not to make racist comments. So he does show a bunch of comments. He doesn't talk in this video, he just shows the comments on screen. And a lot of these guys I've never seen before in my own comment section. In fact, I only recognize one of them. So I'm pretty sure these racist comments are mostly from Minnesota Boys fanbase and not from my fanbase. But still, because I recognize one person, I'm just going to say this. Please don't say anything racist towards T-Moss Boss. You have plenty of material to work with. You don't have to focus on his race. And all it does is give him more ammo to fire back with. They say racial slurs. That's what... It's funny. There's this commercial that I just seen. And I'm like, to kind of add on to what Prison Mate Luke was saying... So there is so there's this commercial because it's like it's not okay to just say whatever you want to say to people i've never just went up to a person and just been like well, i'm just gonna say whatever i feel like saying to them because that's it's they should be okay with it you shouldn't be mad about what i'm saying to you so there's this i can't i think it's a candy commercial i think it is it kit kat no it's not kit kat because they're doing those one commercials with the short people and the candy it's like anyways but it was i think it is i don't know but anyways it was some commercial and the guy was like he looks at the dudes um or he looks at the girl's father and was just all like um, your daughter, she kisses so well. Why would you say that to a person's, um, to a, to the girl that you're dating her father? How the fuck did we get from Jar to some candy commercial? My thing is, look, regardless of whether you think it's offensive or not offensive, it's all about respect. It's all about being respectful to a person. So if that person says, hey, don't say this around me, leave it at that, okay? Respect them. Because there's been times people have, like, if I said things, they would correct me. And you know what I do? I will respectfully just be like, hey, all right, I will no longer say that. I'm moving on. Respect is earned, dickweed. But what do you know about respect? He is white because he did post a video um, of himself. And I remember, because I remember using that. I remember for the longest, I always, like, get on him about that. It's like, bro, like, 
stop being this robot character, be yourself. And I remember he did post a video of him being white. So it's like, bam, you messed up. <laughs> Just saying, you, you, you messed up. You me That's so relevant to what Luke was saying. He was talking about Jorah's blank still, which ironically he used to joke about you. Now I will correct something from my Prism and Luke video. Turns out Jorah's blank still wasn't specifically made to make fun of Team Osmos, but rather it was Christina Prime, his artist, trying to draw what she thought he looked like IRL. Obviously, she didn't get it right since Jar isn't black IRL, but yeah, it wasn't solely because of Team Osmos. It's still not blackface, but I figured I might as well correct myself on that part. Why does it matter? That's what I'm like, when there's small details like that, when people bring up in a TV show, I'm like, fam, it is a show. It's like, you got, who cares? Because it's a shitty corporate attempt to appeal to minorities. If you finish watching the part Luke was talking about, Jar was saying that the only race been the background characters, so it comes off as forced. So how am I supposed to know what city, what place they from, or whatever? By playing the games the show is based on. I'm like, it don't matter to me. I'm like, I will go to a gay... If I'm like friends with some gay people and they invite me to their wedding, so be it. I'm gonna be there drinking Red Bull, wearing Jordans, one of my mini Jordans, or my, uh... I, if I no one cares about your expensive shoes. It's a scam. Jarma spoke. Moving on. What do you say that? I, heard, I was like, I heard that... It was like both his Twitter account and his um, YouTube channel got shut down. I'm like, dang. I'm like, what's going on over there? I'm like, I'm just out here living life, having fun, making videos. And then all of a sudden, it's like, you got this video, the editor, then... If you want to know what happened to Joshua Montag, Jar made a video on it. Anyways, that's all for today. T-Mom's Boss made another video after this as well, but I'll go over that next time. If you want more from me, you can follow my Twitter, watch my DeviantArt, if you want to talk to me directly, you can join my Discord server. If you want to support the channel, you can donate to my Patreon. And until next time, goodbye. Omoide